Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea. And today I'm so excited because we are revealing the new Natasha Denona Glam Palette. This one is different. It's at least different for me because I typically don't wear a ton of cool tones and I have even less full cool tone palettes, but this is this is quite this is quite interesting to me. So I'm very interested to see how it's gonna perform in the eyes, how it's going to look, especially with the type of colors that are chosen. So we're gonna be doing two eye looks today, one on each eye, and I'll be sharing with you guys my thoughts. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with all of your likes and your comments. They all truly do mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. So yes, like I said, we have the new Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And this palette is going to be full of completely new shimmers, mattes, and I think she said shimmers, mattes, and metallic shades. She said that this is the ultimate everyday glam eyeshadow palette for neutral looks and cool tone looks. Um, I was watching her stories and there was a bit of an uproar on the weight on the shade names because the shade names are quite basic and they actually tell you how to use the shadow. So what she did was she put on her IG stories and so it's the actual first uh, highlight called Custom Palette or Custom Glam Palette. And I'm gonna insert some snippets of the three ways that she suggested that you arrange the eyeshadow palette. Um, so if you didn't know, on the back of the eyeshadow palette, there's these pinholes where you can actually pop out and rearrange the shadows. So she was like, you can rearrange the shadows for dark skin tones, for medium skin tones, and light skin tones. And the order that they're laid out in the actual palette will fit the way that you would use it. For me, I don't need that. Like, you know, for instance, I look at this shade right here. This shade right here is called crease, but if that wasn't what I wanted to use in my crease for that day, I'm not gonna use it. So I'm not gonna rearrange my palette, but if you are a visual person and visually you needed to rearrange it so it could make sense for you, then I, I think that that's great. And I'm glad that she provided that for people. Um, because I know that, you know, initially there were some very mixed reviews on just the idea of the palette and the name of the palette. In terms of the shades, I think the shades are pretty. We have a total of five mattes and then the other 10 shades are going to be the shimmers and the metallic shades. So let's just jump right into this tutorial. I'm going to bring you guys in. All I have on my face so far is the Rare Beauty Foundation, the Rare Beauty Concealer. In the foundation, I'm wearing shade 380W. In the concealer, I'm wearing the shade 360W and I have the Rare Beauty brow product in. I just put a little product in to start the video. But that's all I have on my face so I'm going to bring you guys in and get into these eye looks. Okay so eyes are primed with the ABH primer. Let's start with <laughs> let's start with this shade called Crease. So I'm thinking of doing a lighter smoky eye and then maybe a deeper smoky eye. That's that's my thought. So we're going to go with the Refer 15 brush and we're going to place that right in the, I'm actually going to place this right in my transition area. Okay, so that is crease in the transition area. Now let's go in with the shade called Smoke and I'm using a Refer 13 brush and I'm going to build this up slightly in the outer area of the eye. Then I'm going in with my Bristles Beauty Brush. This is the E02 RL. I'm gonna take this shade right here called Blend, and I'm going to use that to blend it into the crease and also blend in that smoke shade that we just applied. So like taking that directly into the crease. And I'm, like I said, I'm more so doing this just to blend the colors together, the transition color and the smoke shade. What is left on the brush, taking it to blend out and kind of pull out that smoke shade. Because I, like I said, I wanted this first look to be a little lighter. Don't want it to be too, too smoky. <laughs> and I can do that quite quickly. 
Sewing so Gigi Builder Pro, and let's, oh, there's so many, there's so many shimmers. Well, I'm wearing kind of a pink shirt today, so let's go with one of these pink ones. Let's go with center eyelid right here. Let's actually apply that to the center eye. I'm not mad at the shade names. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> Maybe because I can be simple sometimes, so sometimes I like simplicity. And then same brush, and we're going to go in with the inner corner shade. Apply the shade in this space right here. And just blend it up into the eye. And blend it into the center eye lid shade. The biggest difference between these two shades, the center eyelid shade and the inner corner, the inner corner is a little bit more metallic than the center eyelid shade. But on the eye, the two shades don't look too distinctive, in my opinion. Yeah, especially looking at them from afar, they don't really look too distinctive. All right, going in with a BK Beauty 207, I'm going to go in with Smoke right here. We're going to apply that just right on the outer edge of it. Then I'm going to go in with the shade right here. I'm going to go with the shade Blend with the same brush. Blend out that smoke shade. Essentially doing the same thing on the lower lash line that I did on the upper lid. Using the blend shade to blend out the smoke shade to lighten it so it's not too intense of a smoky eye. Then going in with a Bristles Beauty Brush E04 RS. Let's go in with the center eyelid shade right here and I want to apply it right here. Around the center of the lower lash line toward the inner corner of the lower lash, lash line. And then for inner corner, my No Name brush, I'm going to go in with the same inner corner shade right here and the inner corner of the lower lid and then inner corner. <laughs> I achieved it. Lighter, smoky eye. Didn't go too deep. That's that's what I want. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the next eye. So BK Beauty 206 and we're going to start off with the smoke shade because I want this one to be more intense and i think i want this one to also use more of like the neutral shades not so much of the cool shade so we're going to start off with this shade as transition and crease and we're just going to build this up and my mistake i did not want to apply that much of the smoke shade in the inner corner so <laughs> i'm gonna have to do a little blending, that's okay. I'm going in with a clean Sonia G Crease Pro brush to just further blend out that smoke shade. Going in with the Wayne Guys 26S brush, let us go in with this shade right here, this outer eyelid shade, and this is a shimmer. I typically like to put mattes on the outer eyelid shade, but let's just Let's put it right here, so not completely on the outer edge of the eye, but almost on the outer edge of the eye. I am liking this shade. This is a beautiful kind of bronzy brown shade that if you are more of a warm toned lover, neutral lover, you will enjoy this shade. The shade is not cool tone, it's more neutral. Going back in with my Refer 13 brush, let's take this lash line shade right here, pop that right here in this outer edge of the eye to create more smoke. Going in with my Bristles Beauty E02 RL brush, and I am going to use that to blend out this outer edge. I'm not applying any additional product on this brush. 
just using it to blend out this color. Okay, going back in with the Wayne Guys 26S brush and just flicking it over, let's go in with the center eye shade right here. Let's apply this right Now I'm going to go in with this center eyelid shade with my Bristles Beauty P0 RF brush and I'm going to take this and we're going to pop this into the inner corner of the eye and also the inner corner of the lower lash line. Going back in with the BK Beauty T07 brush and the lash line shade. We're going to lightly concentrate it on the outer edge of the eye and blend it into the upper lash line. Blend that also toward the middle of the lower lash line because I do want this to be more smoky. And then going back in with my Bristles Beauty E02 RL brush blending all of this out and then going in with this center eyelid shade and the bristles beauty p06 rf brush i'm just gonna take a little bit of that and apply it right here in the middle of the lower lash line so these are the two eye looks i'm going to finish off my face and come back and share with you my final thoughts so stay tuned look I am here for it okay I'm loving like I'm just loving my whole face right now <laughs> but I am loving the way that my eyes came out so um, I popped on the Roquel Beauty eyelashes I have not worn false lashes in months and I feel so glam I think that's why I feel so good too about this whole look um, but these are the lashes in moonlight and I think they accentuate both of these eye looks so well. But on to the eyeshadows because that's why you're here. I am very pleasantly surprised by this eyeshadow palette because when I first saw this, I immediately thought like, okay, Natasha gave us the bronze palette. And I was like, you know what? That was the palette for medium to deep skin tones. So this is gonna be the palette for light to medium skin tones. This is not gonna necessarily work for deeper skin tones. And then when I got the palette in person, I was just like, okay, I can definitely see that this palette can work for a range of skin tones. And I felt like in person, this palette looked much better than in the promo pictures because it just looked really light in the promo pictures. So I do think that this eyeshadow palette could work for light, medium, and deeper skin tones. I still would err on the side that this palette is probably geared more toward lighter, medium, medium to deep skin tones. If you have like a deep, dark, rich, skin tone this palette could work for you but you're just not going to have a lot of options in your matte shades for um your transition and you know deepening up the outer area of the eye because really in this palette we only have lash line and smoke in terms of matte shades that are going to give you any type of depth to your eye look but if you like the palette in terms of shimmers, I feel like all of the shimmers could basically work for any complexion, even the lighter ones, because those ones could be used for the inner corner highlight. They could also be used for the brow bone. Um, and I don't feel like they're too chalky and too ashy to not work for a range of skin tones. I think she did a really good job in picking the coolness of the tones because I usually don't gravitate to a cool tone palette simply because they do look a lot, they do look too chalky and too ashy for even, for even my complexion. And obviously I'm not the deepest one out here. So I think she did a really good job for this particular eye. This eye is obviously more cool toned. I love the way that the colors look. I love the way that they blend it out. Um, and then this eye, I wanted to show more of a neutral type of look because she does market this palette as being neutral and cool toned. So I wanted to show you, you know, kind of both sides of the palette. 
Um, and I used almost every shade except for a couple. But outside of that, I was able to play with the other 12 shades. And I, I really like this palette. The only shade that I had issue with um, blending out was this smoke shade when I went to blend it into the crease and transition on this eye. And also lash line was just a bit difficult to blend out here. I felt like I don't know if it was my primer because I felt like for the smoke shade, when I used it over here, it blended fine, but it kept kind of sticking. So I'm gonna attribute that to maybe the primer being more tacky than it was on this side because this side set longer, obviously, because I started on this side, but it wasn't to the point where I felt like the shades were like patchy, hard to work with. It just took a little bit more blending. But even with that, I still feel like the eye look looks very cohesive. You don't see any gaps or patchiness and things like that. So I'm learning with me when it comes to deeper and darker matte shades, I just need to work in small sections because if I go in with a deeper dark matte shade, it's going to be a little harder to blend unless I'm just dealing with the most effortless formula. Overall, I am I think this palette is gonna be great for the fall. And like I said, I'm loving this whole look. Like I'm so ready for fall. I'm over summer. I'm ready for like sweaters and crisp weather and my boots. And like this look gives me all of those vibes. So I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I recommend this palette a lot. I, I really wanna say 10 out of 10. <laughs> Um, I just think it's, I think she did a great job formulating this palette. And like I said, I think what impresses me the most is she chose really good cool tone shades. None of them, in my opinion, look ashy. They don't feel ashy. You know, I feel like the eye looks just look really beautiful. So I think she did a great job. If you've been eyeing this palette and you are interested in this palette, I would highly suggest it. I think this is, I think this is a beautiful one. I don't have the mini glam palette to compare this too and I also don't have the Biba palette because when I saw this one that was the palette that I first thought of to do like a comparison with it so I'm sorry guys I don't have another palette from Natasha that I feel I could compare this to if you think of a palette that I haven't thought of because I also don't have the Anastasia um what was that cool tone palette that she came out with and it had like the brown packaging that was really sparkly. I had that palette, but I decluttered it because it just didn't speak to me. It was just, that's kind of how I felt about it. Um, so I don't have any other cool tone palettes that I feel like I could, you know, compare this to, to do swatches and things like that. Um, if I find any other videos where they do do those comparisons, I will link them down in the D box below for you guys. Everything that I'm wearing on my face, I will list down in the description box below. That is it, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the looks that I created. Let me know your thoughts on this palette, if you're going to get it, if you like it, if you do have it. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.